if you are an author, I got a question for you. I want to know, who's your audience? Who are you marketing your book to? Hi, this is Ms. Kimmy, a digital marketing strategist and social media manager, and I work with authors literally on a daily basis, whether they need um, me to manage their social media, whether you need me to come up with content for your social media, whether they need me to create the foundational structure of their marketing plan so they know how to market their book. But I got a question for you. If you're an author, whether you are a fiction author or a nonfiction author, this applies, doesn't matter. Who is your audience? I talk to so many authors. When I ask this question, they're like, oh, everybody. Eh -eh. Don't ever say everybody is your audience, okay? The reason being is that if everybody is your audience, nobody is your audience. Because when you go to market, you're trying to market to everybody, which means your messaging is going to be incongruent. You're going to be janky. It's going to be all over the place. So as an author, I want you to figure out who your audience is for your book. Now, you ha may have two different audiences, the person that reads your book is not necessarily the person that's going to buy your book. What'd she say? Listen, the person that is going to read your book is not necessarily the person that is going to buy your book. So you have to figure out if this is the same person. That's the first thing you got to figure out. Then once you figure that out, you can further narrow down your audience. So let's use an example. I will use an example of, let's say a coffee table book about cats, okay? Let's say you have a coffee table book about cats. It has gorgeous pictures in it. It has little cat stories, all kind of little cute stuff, right? About cats. So you may think, oh, that's perfect for the cat ladies, right? All the cat ladies that love cats. And you're going to market to the cat ladies. Here's the thing. Remember when I said the person that's going to read your book isn't necessarily the person that's going to buy your book? That's why I'm using this example. A coffee table book about cats, a cat lady may or may not buy. Do you know who I would market that book to? I would market that book to friends of cat ladies because that's the type of book that they would give their cat lady friend as a gift. Does that make sense? The cat lady isn't the necessarily the person that's going to buy the book. She'll read the book, but she's not necessarily going to buy the book. But that's a great gift idea if you have a cat lady friend when it comes holiday times, birthdays, any of those things. The friends of the cat lady are going to be the people that are going to buy that coffee table book about cats. And so when you're marketing that book, you don't simply say, hey, do you love cats? Buy my book. Uh-uh. Not if you follow me. Not if you follow me. You're going to say, hey, do you have a cat lover in your life? She might love this book. Or this is a great gift for the cat lady friend in your life. Do you have a friend that collects all kinds of knick and neck and brick and brick all around cats? She's going to love this book. Do you see the difference in simply saying, I have a great coffee table book about cats? because that's to the reader versus to the person that's going to make the purchase. Hey, if you have a cat lover friend in your life, you need to grab this as, as a perfect gift item for them. Do you see the difference? And so, my friend, if you are an author and Miss Kemya asks you, who is the audience for your book? This is what I want you think, to think about. This is what I want you to wrap your mind around. The person that's reading the book may or may not be the person that's going to buy the book, okay? That right there can completely change your book sales because now you are starting to define your audience. That makes all the difference when you are creating content to post on social media, when you are creating marketing campaigns, when you are trying to figure out how to make a book trail, when you're trying to figure out how to create the best graphics on social media, when you are trying to find influencers to read and review your book. All of these things that you're trying to do to market your book have to start with who is your audience. So when I say an audience of everybody is not an audience, Please keep that in mind. An audience of everyone is an audience of no one because you will not be talking to anyone specific. And if your audience does not see themselves in your messaging, they think you're not talking to them, which means they won't buy. I hope this was helpful. If it was, 
Please like, share, comment, and hit that bell for notifications and tune in next time for another social media marketing tip. This is Miss Kemya. Bye for now.